supposed to be. All right, so here's a chicken update. Jabba was being picked on. It finally happened. The size difference was noticeable. And then he started closing his eye and looking out one eye and holding his head crooked. So we don't know what happened. It was just like one day he started doing it. Um, like middle of last week. And so we realized that we had too many chicks in the area we have for them. So we sold our steel agers. The lady that bought them has chickens and she was very excited to get them. So now we just have um, the three, I'll just show you. So we have Jabba, he's in chicken hospital. better now that he's by himself. But then here are the others. So we have Kylo Hen is our Bard Rock. And then the other two are Easter Egg or Bantams. Um, Wookiee's in the front and Ewok is in the back. And we are fairly certain that Ewok is a rooster. And so as you can see, there's a lot more room for them. I put in another roost, so they've got lots of roost. And in about probably a week or two, we're gonna start letting them out just in the barn and uh, see how they get along with the other chickens. Hopefully everyone will be nice to them. So, and the goat you're hearing is Gamora because we're weaning her. So she's in here with the other two um, junior does, the Sandy on the right and Marigold on the left. And Gamora has her little uh, toy that she can get up on. She is very upset. But we've been weaning her um, just during the, just at night and uh, she's with her mom during the day for about a week. And then today, or yesterday was her first full day without mom. And uh, she's not loving life, but she'll get used to it. They always do. Okay, here's the second update, is that we have switched back to the girls being in the girl pen and the boys being in the back pen that has the little run out. All right, here's their fan. This is, we moved the staunch into right here. And they, here's Irish, um, Scarlet, Zoe, Red, and Party. Red is, you're kind of rude, huh? And this is their setup, two hay bags, two waters, three hay bags. I forgot about that one. What do you have to say, little girl? What do you have to say? So they go outside in the morning when it's cool and then about noon when it gets hot we bring them back in and put a pan on them. And this pen stays a lot cooler during the day and has less flies. So that's what we're going to do for right now. Okay so we're trying to dry red up and Irish up. Okay drying someone up just means that we're trying to make them not milk anymore. So how we do it is we go from milking twice a day to milking all the way out in the morning and half out at night. And you do that for a few days. And then you go to milking all the way out in the morning. We do mornings just because night times are always a little bit busier. And if we're out somewhere, we don't want to be like, oh, we got to get home to milk at this certain time. So we just always prefer to always milk in the morning. At least I do. Okay, and then once they're comfortable just milking in the morning, which is what these girls were doing until today, we go milk in the morning, and then, so I milked them yesterday morning, and then I'm not milking them till right now, and it is six o'clock. I've been milking them once a day now for two weeks, so now we're going to every third milking for Irish and Red. 
and we're gonna do that for probably another two weeks and then we'll go every other day and then we'll go every three days um, some people just quit cold turkey and I think that that's really hard and you have a better chance of getting mastitis in my opinion I know nothing chickens so I'm just gonna dump it in this pail. The chickens or the cats will okay. The key with bread is to milk her out as fast as you can before she's done eating. because she's pretty tight and she just had her baby weaned so I don't want her to be uncomfortable. So I'm gonna milk her out probably just halfway and then I'll milk her again in the morning. So I just finished milking. I have to go in because we bought more feed and I'm gonna drive it out in our car 
And I'm just about to leave and look at what I see. These three troublemakers. Are you your head stuff? No, okay. I've knocked over their bucket. We just cleaned this pen yesterday. And they've knocked over their bucket. We're gonna have to start hanging it up. Don't put your head through there. We're gonna have to fix that if you're gonna do that. Goats are always gonna try to find a way to hurt themselves. It's just a matter of time. Okay, I changed my mind. It's really nice outside, so I'm gonna put the boys outside. Uh, let's see if I can tape this and do it at the same time. Are you little boys ready? Take it off. Come around, come around, come around. There we go. Yes, let's go outside. You want to follow me? Are they all here? Yeah, they're all here. Yay! It's working! All right, Crocodile, Hunter, and Parker. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to give them some food. In the, okay, don't get on me. Oh, I've got too many. Okay, there you go. Just a little bit, because look at those fatties. Are you joining us? The party's down here. Uh, I'll probably talk to you, but first, Vanda. Vanda disappeared last night, and we thought she was gone. We thought she'd been snatched, because she has a hard time seeing with all that hair. And so we thought someone had carried her off. And then she reappeared magically this morning. Mom was very sad, weren't you, Mom? That was just after Mom had declared Vanda her spirit animal. It's Garden Tuesday. The chickens are loving our weeding job. Do you see that? We've got just piles of weed. We're gonna have an empty garden. We'll plant fall stuff, huh, Mom? Yeah. Dad? Yeah. How are you enjoying this time with us? Love it. What do you want to say to your... Look, your, there's a grub right there. The chicken fans. could come eat it. Frenchie, here. Frenchie. My fans? Ooh, yeah, what do you want to say to your fans? Um, I love weeding. <laughs> Look. Is it? Oh, yeah, she got it. Good girl. Dad, what's your favorite vegetable to eat? Is corn a vegetable? Um, not technically, but if you want to say corn, I'll allow it. We want corn, but... Because then I'm going to say potatoes. A potato. All right, this is the damage. Those are all dead weeds. This is our corn, or corn, ugh. Green beans, that row. That's a row of nothing but weeds. And our sunflowers at the end, and we got a sunflower right here. And Frenchie is loving it. All right, they're in. Did you guys have a good time outside? Like, shut up, Mom. We're eating. Fixed their water, cleaned up the water spill. Okay, we're going to see how Jabba does. Being back in with Kylo Hen, who seems to not bother him. And the Easter egg or bantams. Ewok, who is on the right, is a rooster. And, oh my goodness. And uh, Wookie is on the left. We hope she's not a rooster. I just set you down, and here she is again. What? I know you want up on my shoulder. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come up on my arm. You can do it. Yeah. What? 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 Okay, fine. Here's my hand. Look, his hand. 